Daisy Edgar Jones has admitted she had to learn to part with her idea of normal people when it was released and accept that the show belonged to the fans. The 23-year-old actress starred as Marianne Sheridan alongside Paul Mescal, who played Connell Waldron, in the hit series based on the novel of the same name by Irish author Sally Rooney. The romantic drama, which was released on BBC Three in 2020, focused on the on-off relationship between Irish teenagers Marianne and Connell, beginning in their school days through to their time at university. Look racy in red like Daisy wearing Oscar de la Renta Oscar de la Renta AW21 dress shop the designer. By now Daisy Edgar Jones was dressed to impress for the Critics' Choice Awards, with a little help from stylist Nikki Yates. The actress opted for a bright red dress by Oscar de la Renta, and we are seriously swooning. With its fitted bodice, puff sleeves and plunging neckline, this dress is equal parts flattering and fabulous. This design is from the AW21 collection, which means it can't be purchased at present. However, you can shop the current line at Net Porter by clicking, right? If you're feeling inspired to rock a red dress like Daisy's, peruse our edit of variations in the carousel below. Mail Online may earn commission on sales from these product links. Now get one like it previous next £270 self-portrait puff sleeve dress at Matches Fashion, now reduced to £162, buy now £129 House of CB Rita dress buy now £38 misguided puff sleeve dress, now reduced to £34. 20, buy now £50 Club L puff sleeve dress at Asus, now reduced to £32. By now Daisy told The Guardian, I learned in a hurry that I had to part with my idea of normal people the moment it landed. That people were going to have their own relationship with, I don't know, a piece of jewelry I hadn't thought about during the whole of filming, because the show was theirs now. On its release, the series generated huge popularity with a fan Instagram account set up devoted to Connell's silver chain necklace, which still has more than 150,000 followers. According to the BBC, the series drove BBC Three to its best ever week for program requests on iPlayer at the time, with more than 21. 8 million watches in its first week. The BAFTA nominee confessed that she is still processing the show's extreme success and that she has not worked out what it all means, if it means anything at all. She said that she still gets feelings of nostalgia for the show and cast, and confirmed she was still in contact with friends she made on set, including Miss Cal. Daisy added that filming in Dublin, Italy, and Sweden, had real highs and some lows. I was very green as an actor. There were definitely times I thought, my god, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm too wee, she added. There was this thought that if I had one bad day at work I'd have to live with the results for the rest of my life. She said she grew in confidence with help from the close friendships formed on set describing it as a cozy romance with lots of people which made them almost forget they were creating something to be later watched. Her latest role will see her tackle another central character from a beloved novel as she plays Kia in the big screen adaptation of Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. The coming-of-age story set in North Carolina in the 1950s and 60s follows Kia, an abandoned marsh girl who seeks solace in nature. She described portraying such well-known book characters as pressure, adding, You're coming to scenes that people have already formed a deep relationship with, and you've got a couple of hours in front of a camera to get it right for them.